This is 26. This is the city you call home and the apartment that continues to watch you grow up, a place you can't believe you get to call yours. 25 wasn't always the easiest year, but you found your way out of the dips. You recreated that photo in that special spot, which makes you think about how at 10 you thought you'd be a teacher, at 16 an editor, at 20 a marketer, somehow at 26 you're a mix of all three. You often wish you were as strong as her, as funny as him. The two of them have taught you so much, and you're proud that he's the perfect mix of both. You feel lucky to do life with all of them by your side. Your favorite drink remains the same and is a shock to no one. Finding joy in the little things is something you hope you never lose, although romanticizing taking the trash out is becoming a stretch. You find therapy in the kitchen and are pleased to see your skills improving. Your love for reading continues to grow because stories, even the fictional ones, teach you new things about the world every day. This is 26, and although the unknowns scare you and the speed of time feels unsettling, you take a deep breath, ready to see what's next. Okay, so I know that was a really sentimental intro, but I just came back from a walk, a nice birthday reflective walk, officially a 26 over here. I'll set the scene for you. I took the day off for my birthday. Things worked out in the schedule. I was able to do it. We're really happy. We start the day with an intense Pilates because I wanna move my body today. First day as a 26 year old, I wanna feel strong. It was quite the workout. I felt proud. I did a meditation. I felt proud. A new year was starting off perfectly. I decided to go outside and take a walk around my city, think about life, get my free coffee. On the way home, I say, let me stop at the P.O. box. That was the first mistake. The second mistake was thinking I can walk with this all the way home. My hands officially feel like jello, just jello. I thought it was gonna be a relaxing day. No, I actually am sweating. I'm sweating through this bodysuit, so that's a really attractive picture for you right now. Let's open it though. It's a PR package, not for my birthday, but I know who it's from. Oh my gosh. It's a cooler. <laughs> no wonder it weighed so much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna guess there is bubbly in here, I hope. I love bubbly. If you haven't ever had it before, it's just sparkling flavored water. Mwah. I don't know, I love. Wow. So the reason that they're sending me this is because they've got a new flavor coming out, raspberry bubbly, but this cooler is filled with all 10 flavors that they now have. This is fantastic. I haven't tried watermelon. I haven't tried peach. I have tried pineapple, approved. Hey, thank you, Bubbly, that is great. Also, this is a really great fan device. 26 is great. Moft also sent me some new phone cases. These are snap phone cases. So if you see right here, there's like a little connector where I can add this string and I can basically like hold my phone on a lanyard around my neck which I think is gonna come in handy for times when I'm doing a lot of filming around the apartment because then I can just be like, drop, come with me phones while I move things around and then ba bam film. I'm like shaking right now. My arms just are jello. They're hidden right now, but they can pop out. The current case I have on my phone is just the Apple silicone case. Ooh, that's sharp. I love, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but these buttons on the side are a rose gold. Thank you, Moft. I've got beverages. And I've got a new phone case. It feels like, I was gonna say, it feels like Christmas. It feels like my birthday. Cause it is. I hope this isn't a bill. That's really gonna bring the birthday vibe down. Oh, it's not a bill. Phew. I also decided today was the day I was gonna go redeem that perfume sampler thing that I showed you. For Christmas, my parents got me from shoppers. They give you like 12 samples of different perfumes and then you can redeem the card for one 50 mil or I think they're all 50 mil version of the perfume that you like the most. And Black Opium by YSL is my staple scent, but I really did like this one, Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. And the bottle is interesting, that's why I'm showing you, because the bottle is fun. Ready? Ooh, la, la, look at that. Do you see, it's a stiletto. If you're gonna make a perfume, make it a fun bottle like that, right? And then you click here for the spray. So nice. I didn't just get it for the bottle though. I actually, of all the scents other than black opium, this one was a favorite. So I figured since it's a gift, I wanted to try something different. Stunning. I'm glad I went today though, cause it feels like it's a birthday gift, but it's really a Christmas gift. I was strategic in this.
days later and I am hosting a dinner tonight with a couple of my girlfriends. To celebrate my birthday, but more so just to hang out with them. I wasn't planning on doing really anything for my birthday that was like party related. I'm not a big birthday party kind of person. Let me know in the comments if you like doing a big planned thing every year or if you're way more chill. Like to be honest, my day of just taking off work and spending the day doing some of my favorite things was like top tier. But uh, shout out to my friend Nadine. She was like, I feel like we need to do something to celebrate. So um, yeah, I'm just quickly pulled together my friends Maddie, Andy, and Nadine, and we're just gonna do a dinner. I'm gonna order and take out. I got donuts. Andrea is actually uh, going to be here in a few minutes, and we're gonna go head out to Muji. So we'll see if I pick up any stationary goodies. It's a super last minute thing, but I'm glad we're doing it because especially with Nadine and Andrea, they live in, in my hometown, so I don't get to hang out with them physically as much as uh, I'd like, so this is an excuse to do that. This is the simple syrup I made because I got ingredients to do cocktails. Like I kind of want to do an espresso martini tonight. I've been experimenting just a tad with making cocktails at home. I also want to experiment with mocktails because I think it's good to like have options for both, not only for others when they come over, but for yourself. Making a cocktail at home is what I'm discovering to be equal to making a latte at home. It just takes a really basic experience of something simple and elevates it to a moment. And I just think because I've got guests over, that will be fun too. Okay, I, I think I have to go. self-reflection journaling session. I added some, or I guess not some, but one of these sticky notes I got from Muji. I wanted to do a journaling session in my first days as a 26 year old, just kind of writing down some of the things I feel like I've learned in 25 years, which if you want some journal prompt ideas, I've got a link down in the description box below you can go check out. In the spirit of this video, it only feels right to share some of these things I wrote down, one of which is really something that has clarified this year for multiple reasons is that your health is your wealth the health of your loved ones is wealth and because of that i think it's really become clear to me that spending time on my physical health on my mental health on things that make me feel good is never a waste of time and is something i shouldn't feel guilty for doing some of the most important relationships in my life are by far my friendships some of those people you saw in those clips from that dinner but there are many people, not just not in this video, but not reflected in videos at all on social media that I really value. And I think the beautiful part about friendships is that they can be different for every friendship. Like none of my friendships I feel like look exactly the same. They serve different things in my life. Although I am a quality over quantity kind of person when it comes to my friendships, I do think there's so much to be said about having connections with a variety of people. You know, we have work friends, we have school friends, we have friends that maybe we are connect with on a specific hobby or friends that we do this specific thing with or friends that we talk about these sorts of things with that you don't really talk about with another set of friends. Like, it's just so great that you can have different people serve different needs in you rather than putting all these expectations on one or two people to be everything and anything. But friendships do become a lot more difficult as you get older. You don't have one thing concrete that's bringing you together. They require intention and it is so important to make them a priority. Life gets in the way and it's understandable, but I think those relationships are, are can be really good for your soul. And sometimes like I'll feel alone about something and you'll have a conversation with a friend and realize, oh, 
there's other people that experience these emotions. There are other people that are confused and don't feel like they know what they're doing and that feels very validating. And not only are friendships different for different people, but they also can be different with the same person depending on the season of life that you're in. I just kind of accept the fact that that's okay. It's really important to appreciate the people that you do have in your life right now because you just don't know what journeys everyone's going on. Comparison of any kind, feeling worse about yourself because you don't live up to something, or if you're doing it in the opposite way where you're feeling better about yourself because you're comparing your, your situation to someone else's and you think you're in a better one. I just think it's all around bad times, thief to joy, to the extreme. There's no good in that. Um, judgment also may feel really powerful in the moment. I am guilty of it. I have been guilty of it. I will be guilty of it going forward, but I think it's so much more powerful to try and be empathetic. You know, understand that everyone is the main character in their lives. Everyone is making choices that feel right for them. And also, this kind of ties in with comparison too. You do not know realistically anyone's situation, life situation. I know it's like an easy thing to say on social media. Like it's a highlight reel. You don't know what's going on. But you see that in just like everyday life too. People that you're close to or acquaintances, you can think their life is one way or things are going one way and something else might be happening that you're not aware of. I just think that's like important to hold on to because again, judgment, you, it's easy to make assumptions, but really you don't know the full story. So there could be other reasonings for decisions or thought processes that you just aren't privy to and that doesn't make it wrong for them. It just means that you don't have all the information and nor should you always get all the information. Over fixating on timelines adds a lot of unnecessary pressure to yourself. Life doesn't follow a certain blueprint for it to be quote unquote good or quote unquote right. Everyone is on their very unique journey. Although I think there's absolutely something to be said for how we collectively and individually value beauty, beauty that is like physical beauty. I do think unless you're in like that top 1% of people that are stunning, that at the end of the day, once someone gets to meet you, immediately they're factoring different things into what they think about you that is more than just what you objectively look like. People get a sense of what you're passionate about, your confidence, the energy you bring into a room, how you make them feel when they're around you, and those things do come into play. I think that's exciting because you have a lot more control over that. But to tangent on that point, I think feeling sexy and beautiful and confident is powerful. I found it a really powerful thing to channel in my in my 20s. So spending time, energy, even sometimes money in things that make you feel sexy or beautiful isn't something you have to feel superficial about. I spend 20 minutes a day, you know, putting on makeup, getting my hair curled, I pick out a nice outfit that makes me feel good. These are things that make me feel like I can attack the day and go after things I want with just a lot more confidence and gusto. <laughs> gusto is the word of the day. There's so much value, especially today, in listening more than you talk, and that applies not just in conversations, but in observing too, whether it's on social media or life around you. And to tap on to that point, don't give unsolicited advice. If people really want your opinion on something and they ask you about it, then that's when you can kind of give advice. But otherwise, everyone is the main character of their own life. They're gonna make their own decisions that feel right for them and sometimes unsolicited advice can come off as like judgy. I think Caitlin here. I do realize it's kind of funny. I'm doing a whole spiel about unsolicited advice and all of this is coming off as unsolicited advice so at least I'm self-aware about it. <laughs> These are just lessons I learned. You don't have to follow it but like stand by it. I <laughs> stand by that statement. Another add-on to that, drop your ego because you don't know everything. We are all flawed and it's important to kind of have your feet on the ground when it comes to that. Breathing is something we do automatically all the time. We take it for granted, but it's also a really great tool if you're feeling overwhelmed, stress. Find the activity that allows you to focus on breathing, whether it is meditation or taking walks or bike rides or cooking in your kitchen, whatever it is that allows you to just kind of focus in and tap into this really basic but essential thing that we do. Learning new things helps keep life from being boring, it adds variety, it adds spice. And I'll end it on this last note because that's all I have in my journal entry. But there's a lot more 
more things we could talk about in terms of like life lessons, but a key one, treat people the way that you want to be treated. It's, it's such a standard rule of thumb that I think we're all very familiar with, but applying that to everyone you meet and everyone you come across, showing them the, the respect, the energy that you would want to receive from someone else goes a long way. I found that not just in my personal life, but also from a business uh, point of view, especially for my business, because like my business is me, I have found that other businesses are just maybe not one person, but they're a lot of, they're made up of people. So relationships are important. And I think treating people with respect is a key component to developing healthy relationships. Speaking of work, this affirmation felt so fulfilling for this particular week because it says, as you can see, I love what I do for work and it inspires and fulfills me. Above all, one of the best gifts that I feel like I've gotten in my 25, 26 years of life is the fact that I've gotten to spend a decade of it already doing work that truly inspires and fulfills me. Like this whole thing that I'm doing here, this, this job, this career that I have, is far beyond what I could have pictured for myself. It still amazes me every single day like that this is what I get to do for a living. It is by far like the coolest thing for me at least. I know it's not like it wouldn't be everyone's cup of tea, but being able to just create things every day as much as there are definitely flaws to every job and this one has them for sure. They do not outweigh the positives at all. And it's just truly one of the gifts of my life that I not only get to create, but um, that I have this little community that's following along with my life and to know that some of you have been here since before university but probably like during my university days and now into my adulthood days that is wild to me even though I don't know you personally you know more about me than I know about you I feel your your positive presence here and I feel it when I'm on camera and I feel it you know, with me as I go through life. And it's just really special that I get to share so much of my life with you. I know everyone online who has a following says like, you guys are the best community ever, but truly I feel so safe here. And that's all kudos to all of you. You make me feel so much more comfortable being myself and in talking about the things that I care about. And this whole thing has been such a vessel of empowerment for me. So I, I can't thank you enough. I just am so thankful that you're, you're here. I'm officially a 26 year old woman. I still don't know all the answers of life, unfortunately, but I know that the answers of life are known to no one. <laughs> if you've got any life advice for me as I head into this 26th year of life, then I would love to know. Whether you're younger, my age, older, you all got something, some piece of wisdom that I don't have, and if you can pass it on, that would be very nice. <laughs> I'll see you all soon with a new one, and until then, toodles. I'm indecisive, I'm hard to read, I'm like a fake, so I